this Jeep meet in 2019. Ever since then, I've been chasing this guy down on Instagram. This morning, I'm here with my friend Paul, and we're gonna show you exactly what we have here. talked about it and uh, you know I, I told him how much I love this Jeep and you know I made him an offer and he accepted it so so you it, gave him your bill uh -huh. and then because I guess it was easier for him to sell much, the other how one. much if you don't mind saying yeah how much cash a uh, hundred a hundred grand uh -huh. and your uh -huh. bill that probably was worth I would say 50, 50, 60 yeah, 50, right 60, yeah right. <laughs> right there, yeah, That's so. some commitment, my friend. I love it. Yeah. But it's been good to you ever since, right? You love it? I love it. I love the, I love this thing. Whatever scratches you see on this one, it it's from me. Because when I took ownership, there was not one scratch on this. Well, that's awesome. So yeah. Awesome adventure. Yeah. Guys, I love everything about this build. But we're gonna start with the front end and then we're gonna walk our way around. So now getting into just your bumper and your winch setup, what do you have here? So this one's a Poison Spider bumper, uh, Warren winch, 9.0 RC. On your winch, I know this is something slightly different, right? This is a different race style winch. Why did you go with the race style winch? So what it is, it spools up faster, the line's shorter, but it spools up faster. And um, usually there's like a box that goes on top here, which blocks the um, airway a little bit. So that's that box went inside the engine bay. We'll show them in a little bit. In a few minutes, guys, I'm gonna yeah. show you why we need all the airflow we could get. So guys, before we move on to the side of this vehicle, I gotta remind you of like 1993 and we're upgrading our YJs and we're like, you know what, we need a beefed up steering stabilizer. So we go on like Quadratech website, we click those bright E-Man, uh, they're called a uh, Old Man Emu beefy steering stabilizer. They look so fat and sick when you get them compared to the factory one. They're like, oh man, this is the great steering stabilizer ever. But guys, look at this monster. Okay, so this one's a uh, full hydro uh, steering by uh, PSC. And uh, man, they're, they're... And by full hydro steering, what does this do versus your traditional steering setup? Well, this one's just uh, has a lot more uh, hydraulic power to it. And so why do you need that? Uh, when you're rock crawling, um, you need, you know, you need that power. Everything under here is so impressive and built to like monster grade. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this gigantic axle you have under here? Right, so this one is by Curry Enterprise and uh, it's it's a uh, Curry 70, RockShot 70 and uh, it's it's got Detroit lockers in the front and uh, Ethan e-lockers in the back. Um, 35 uh, spline on it and uh, yeah you could you could also see that uh, it's it's tilted up like the traditional Curry uh, axles that you don't get from other axles. Right and why do you why do they tilt those up? Uh, for uh, to glide over rocks easier and you could always replace this uh, kind of like a skid plate you could replace it uh, when it wears out so yeah it's and also uh, to get more clearance on top. So when you're doing the articulation, you get more clearance on top since it's tilted like, you know, like 
Yeah, so what he's talking about is talking about the housing of all these curry axles. That's right. The way they make the pumpkin is they kind of slant it a little bit forward and that mm -hmm. allows that little ring not to get caught and ripped every time you hit a rock with it. And it also allows a lot uh, upper and lower clearance when it comes to the articulation. Front end is super impressive. So let's walk around and check out the wheels and tires. Sure. When it comes to any type of wheeling, the wheel and tire choice is actually very important. These things are all kinds of beat up. It looks like you've had tons of fun on them. So why don't you tell us what type of setup you have here? Okay, so this is a 42 inch tires uh, by BF Goodrich. It's, a, it's, a, it's called the Crawler. Uh, the wheels are 20 inch uh, trail ready beadlocks with a, with a kind of like, you know, this is why the rings are wide to protect your uh, valve stem. And also, um, it's, I'm also running a, a monster valve for, for quick deflate. With a monster like this, the suspension is super critical. What did you put on here? So this one is a 12 inch uh, travel coilovers, Fox and uh, IBAC uh, uh, springs, with IBAC springs, it's a four link. Um, it has a totally flat belly underneath uh, so you don't get caught up on rocks and stuff like that. You just glide over it. Awesome. So we showed the front of the suspension. Now let's get into the rear because it's a little bit different here. All the setup goes very far back in the vehicle and your shock system actually sets up above even the wheel well. So tell us a little bit about that. Right. So so the, the shock that I'm using is a Fox 2.5 with the DSC uh, control valves in it. So, um, you know, it's it's enough size of the shock for me to do that type of wheeling that I do. So I noticed that you continued the poison spider thing in, um, on the Jeep with the sliders and the rear bumper, which makes a nice, even, good, right. well-rounded setup for your system here. But we'll hit lighting later. I just wanted to kind of point out these cool rock lights that you have going on. Uh, what are those? Uh, those are rigid rock lights and uh, I have six of them here. Um, two in the front, in the middle, and two in the back. Um, they're very useful if you're doing, especially if you're doing like uh, uh, night crawling. Um, you know, when, when, especially when somebody's spotting you up front, you want to turn off your headlights and just leave the rock lights on and that way he can spot you better. As we're taking a look at this crazy tire and wheel setup, I noticed a very cool stop tech color match caliper on this wheel. Tell me what you have here. Yeah, so, so this one is running a, a six piston in the front and four piston in the back, uh, 14 inch rotors. And uh, yeah, you're right, it's, it's color match. And the reason why you want to go with that is why? It's just, uh, you know, with the big tires, you know, it's, it's just more stopping power, I guess. Stopping so power is very important. important. Especially when you find out what engine is in this thing. <laughs> it's got some go, so it needs some slow. Also, I'm laying down. These doors are really smooth. Uh, who makes the doors? Uh, Aqualoo Industry out of Canada. And uh, actually, the whole tub is, is made by them. They've been in the business for like 30 years. And they, they make good quality aluminum uh, tubs for, for Toyotas for Land Cruiser, they do all kinds of stuff. So this entire Jeep build is 100% aluminum tub. That's right. Crazy. Everything on this dash is custom for this vehicle and uh, it looks very retro. That's right. What do you have going on here? So this one uh, came out of a CJ um, Jeep uh, and uh, you know, just to get the old school theme going, uh, the dig digital dash is, is made by Dakota Digital, and uh, you know, it's got that old school feel. I got two, I also got two uh, comps here, uh, a ham radio and a CB radio, and you know, not a lot of guys use CB radios anymore, but I have it just, just when I you wheel with... CB radio. <laughs> so I, I use it just in case I roll with, you know... Uh, Truck drivers? <laughs> <laughs> truck drivers but but you know um you know with people that have cb radio still so what's um, your handle pumpkin spice yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um that and then i got the prt uh, steering wheel here uh it's it's a uh, it's a uh, quick release steering wheel um quick release because i use it i don't have any alarm system on this so it's funny I use it when I when I leave the Jeep out, you know, 
somewhere quick. I can take off the steering wheel and take it with me. And so uh, PRP makes the steering wheel. They also make these seats. That's we'll, right. we'll show in a second. We're not sitting sure. on them. Okay. But PRP is probably the industry industry standard mm -hmm. when it comes to upgrading your seats and steering wheels. Yes. Yes. You're you're right about that one. And uh, also, you know, surprisingly, this build also came with a, a AC and, and a heater. So, you know, I have soft, soft windows that I, mean, I could always put on it and like a tarp back here. So on a hot day, this, this surprisingly, this juggy still have AC and heater. In this build, we actually noticed that he runs PRP seats, steering wheel, and five-point harnesses. You could go on a PRP right now and design your seats and, and, and steering wheel and harnesses any design you would like. It's a great company and the industry standard for upgrading this kind of stuff. So one of the unique things about this Jeep is the way the tailgate goes down. It's actually like a truck tailgate, which is very cool, but if you notice, we have these lizard skin liners, and this little lift right here is something very cool. Why don't you tell us about yeah, this? Yeah, that's right. So that's a 22-gallon uh, uh, fuel tank that was restuck, uh, you know, uh, maybe five inches higher. So underneath is completely flat, and uh, I had my buddy do a. a completely flat uh, skid plate also to protect that aluminum. Uh, so you didn't buy the vehicle with this, you actually did this? No, uh, it already came with it. Um, my buddy skidded did, uh, it. Skidded it. Yeah, Perfect. Exactly. So guys, with these TJ things, you'll notice that the gas tanks, That's if right. you take this depth and you just drop it down flat with the bed of this, you'll see the gas tank at the bottom. So to gain clearance, That's he right. actually recessed the gas tank into the body. Mm -hmm. All right, so airing up monster 42 inch tires isn't as easy as you think. So what setup do you run to keep these guys inflated once you take the air out? So I have two ARB uh, twin uh, underneath each seat and that goes through a, a tank here, an air, air, air tank, and I just hook up the airlines and air them up. So just to give you some perspective, most people have a single cylinder uh, setup to run That's their right. thing. No air tank at all. He runs two ARB dual That's right. compressors That's with right. a tank. Very nicely done. Thank you. So in this build, you're gonna be doing crazy extreme things. So you wanna make sure you're protected. This is the crawler off-road fast back full case that protects the windshield all the way back to the vehicle. But one thing that I noticed is something very different than I've ever seen in a Jeep before, and it's this guy right here. This is a transmission cooler in the back of the Jeep. We will get to why that is there in just a second. We've been teasing this part of the video from the moment we started. We are finally gonna look what's under the hood. This is nuts. This is a full LS3 swap, a straight Corvette motor dropped into this Jeep from the crate. What I noticed though, there's not a lot of modifications on this. I as well am a big, hey, the fewer modifications you do on your motor, the more reliability you're gonna have out there, kind of guy, so I like that. But there are some things that are very unique to this build in this engine compartment. One, I noticed we have all of the winch controls here. Two, we have our S-Fob controller right here off to the side nicely. We have a very big beefed up radiator and a super cool intake that leads to a vented wheel wheel. All right, guys, we are closing this out. This was a lot of fun, but before we do, I just want to kind of point out the awesome color com combination of this pumpkin orange, very vibrant pumpkin orange and black accented vehicle from front to back. It looks immaculate. Also the name, if you want to find them on Instagram, just find them at Pumpkin Spice, which is not only the perfect name for that fall time pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, it's also this beast of a vehicle that will kill you on the trail. Paul, thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much. I love your build. I love what you have going on here. Thank you. Guys, here at Exolapo. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. What do you say? No, 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 that's perfect. That's what perfect. Wait. Sorry. We, we outside. Huh? We, we, we outside.